This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The uh, rumor and innuendo in the newsletters this time is that the company is thinking about running a one hour weekly pay-per-view on Saturday night based out of New York city. So this predates TNA, uh, by several years, but the original idea allegedly was it was going to be a weekly one hour pay-per-view. Of course, we know it turns out being a syndicated show shotgun Saturday night, but in a much different format than what the company was doing at the time. Was this the brainchild of Bruce Pritchard or Vince McMahon, or what do you remember about the early idea and concept of shotgun Saturday night? I think that was uh, Vince's idea. I think, uh, or at least it would start there or continue from there. Uh, the weekly one hour pay-per-views, I never saw a long-term future in, right? Uh, you're asking people to spend more money every week now. And you're there in a one hour pay-per-view is what book, right? Maybe three matches. Uh, so I, I didn't, I didn't feel like that was a, a hit. So when it went to Saturday night syndication, then that this becomes a matter of Conrad of, uh, you know, are we getting the right stations? Do we have enough coverage and the system more created for Vince to do? He was on that show. So, uh, I don't remember who, who all, who all he worked with. I didn't work on that show, which didn't bother you because I didn't have to go to New York on Saturday night. Uh, but yeah, I, th I, I think that it was just a. It was a, it was a shot. It's throwing a, a hook in the water, hoping you get a bite and, and, uh, the fish weren't biting on that day. Let's get to, uh, the pay-per-view, uh, you're in the booth with Vince McMahon and Mr. Perfect for SummerSlam live in Cleveland. Um, were you always going to call the show? I mean, how, how far in advance do you know, Hey, we want you on this pay-per-view. Now that seems silly, but there was a time here where you're not exactly behind the desk for every single show. When are you notified of this? And when are you notified of who your quote unquote dance partners are going to be? Well, I think Vince told me, uh, earlier in the week, maybe it wasn't a big month or so away, but it's, you know, he'd make those decisions a, a little bit on the fly and it's, it's totally his call. He was trying to get Kurt some, uh, exposure. He knew that I was solid and I was a consistent and he could, he could rely on me and Kurt, you know, was so talented, you know, he could, he, did, but he did, he wasn't a, he wasn't an experienced broadcaster. So I think I was there basically to help Kurt, uh, and, and, uh, you know, just make and Vince to make Vince feel more comfortable. So that's kind of how I perceive that thing. And it worked out pretty good. You know, I worked with Vince with Lawler and, and, uh, the three of us, pretty good team, Thought we did pretty well. Uh, but I think earlier in the week, Conrad, you know, we're going to, I'm going to have you work the show with, with me and with perfect. And I was ready to do it. You know, it's more, looks, that's what I came for. I came to work. I came to broadcast. So I was happy to get that assignment. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.